Hey guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Medium, and this time it's The Reckoning. So, there's some things about this episode. On one hand, it had another abrupt ending. It's like, oh, I guess that's it. That's the end of both stories, I guess. The girl sat in the car, that was the end. And then, oh, it's somebody who just happens to look like you is dead. But, this might be the first time outside of that guy who possesses people that we've had supernatural stuff happen. I mean, we, we already know ghosts exist. We see the father come to visit yes, a lot. but we've never seen ghosts be able to do something and interact with something. They can interact with Allison or the kids, but they can't make stuff happen in the real oh, world. Oh, true. Yeah, the ghost of Although the Although that was foreshadowed when the house was on fire. Yeah. I was wondering, I, bet, I almost forgot about that. I was like, where's that going? Then I forgot but about Yeah, it. the ghost of the dead girl was making lights and music and stuff and... So the woman freaked out, killed herself, although she would have lived if the husband had actually called for help. He let her die because she would have told the police that they killed the girl. Still, it so is... So then the, the wife decided to um, mess with the stove so the husband would die in so a fire. So despite this episode seeming uneventful, it is eventful in the fact that we've, this is the first time we've had a ghost which can actually do something, not just a vision for Alison. Yeah, true. So, hey, we finally had something. It's like a poltergeist where crazy stuff happens. Yeah. Because at first I was thinking, is this... At first, because at first I was thinking, oh, is this girl like Allison? And then I thought, no, it's Allison's dream. Maybe Allison is seeing things in a dream and that's foreshadowing. But then she said, oh, I actually saw that happen. It wasn't just a dream going nuts. So those were real ghosts. Yeah. So, whatever. And then she blew up the house somehow. Yeah. She just messed with the little pilot light in the stove so the gas would fill up the room. Yep, but, oh well, and then we have a side plot with the kids that, once again, goes nowhere. Other than, oh, it's a random episode where the kid actually has powers for once, and we find out she should have a career as a fortune teller until she finds out she can't handle the guilt of it all. Yeah, of course. She thought her friend was going to die when she's older, which the parents even thought maybe we could call the parents and we could prevent it somehow. But then it turns out it's not her when she's older, it's her cousin, so we're too late to prevent it. She's already dying. Oh, well, another plot that goes nowhere. The only bit... I will say, this isn't a plot that goes nowhere, because we learned about real ghosts. So, like I said, so far, the lone exception had been that one guy who possesses people, so... Finally, I, I want more episodes like this. Mm. I want more episodes, because, it, you know, it feels like it's got something happening, not just Allison solving a mystery and trying to interpret her visions. Yeah. I mean, you know, it goes from being a show... You could either have... A show with villains and interesting supernatural characters, or you could just have Vibe the detective. <laughs> Which one sounds more interesting? <laughs> oh well. Oh well, I'm still just gonna give it a 7.5. Yeah, I'll just go 7. It was alright, but could have been better. Yeah. It's once again another. I hate the amount of times where I'm like, oh, that's the ending. Okay. What more did you want? I don't know, I thought. Because, again, at the end of the episode, you know, you see the sirens going, you think, oh, we're going to go see the house is on fire or something. or you're gonna We see... know it's on fire. Still, just because we know something's going to be happening, it'd be still nice to see it. It's like we solved the mystery, and then that's it. I hate the episodes where it's like we solved the mystery, but that's not a resolution. That's the solution. The resolution comes after the solution, and we don't always get that. It's like, oh, we're going to go see? No, it just cut to the next morning. And then that's the end. I suppose we just had to wrap up the other plot. Mm. What was even the point of all this? Eh. Oh, well, the only benefit is that we know ghosts are real. Okay. Anyway, what's the next episode? Method to his madness. Please tell me his madness refers to the, my favourite character. Or it could just be somebody else. Maybe it's just some lunatic murderer who's going about this in a weird way and Allison solves another mystery and it means nothing. Or its next episode is the episode I've been waiting for. Find out next time when we review Medium and other things as well. See, See you, you next time, time guys! guys.